How do you train horses to not spook on the road? So basically, the way the horses would get used to traffic was just by being around vehicles and being around traffic, being on the road. When I broke my horse that my dad gave me, I was training it, and the first couple times that I went out driving, I actually went into the ditch. One time there was a big orange tow truck coming at me. It was a Kokosing uh, brand. It was for the company Kokosing, and it was a tow truck that towed their big semi-trucks and stuff when they broke down. And the guy that drove it lived down our, our road, and he'd come flying down the road, and he popped over the hill. My horse took one look at this big orange monstrosity coming at us. I mean, it took up most of the road. Uh, it was loud. You know, it had lights on. It was just about dark. And we went right into the ditch. And just into the ditch and stopped, and by that time, the truck was passed. We were almost to this hill, and... Uh, we were almost to the hill when the truck popped up over the hill, and she didn't see it coming, and we went in the ditch. The next time I went into the ditch with this uh, horse, she was two years old, there was a pony cart, and there was these two little girls driving basically a wagon with a pony hook to it, and it had an orange flag coming up the back about six feet uh, on, a, on a pole so that you could see them over hills and such. And my horse took one look at this little miniature horse, which we didn't have any ponies. This horse was tiny, tiny little thing, <laughs> hooked to a wagon. And these girls used to drive it to school. Uh, they were twin girls. And cat's playing with my, my tripod again. Uh, and my horse took me into the field. By this time, the field was harvested. There was no crops in it. And we went into the field about 30 feet where I could stop the horse, turn around, get back. Uh, out onto the road and another thing there was a semi truck that was sitting down the corner around the corner from our house and it was sitting pretty close to the road and the owner parked it there by the road and then he'd walk up to the house um, his driveway was long and steep and he parked the truck in the parking lot uh, on the edge of his property and my horse I was training her we were coming down this road she takes one look at this semi truck parked there she stops in the middle of the road I was in a two-wheeled road cart and I just turn around and head it back the other way. We did this about eight times. I get back up to the corner, turn around, come right back at the same semi truck, over and over, just patiently waiting. Every time she'd stop, hesitate, I turn around. We we try again. We'd act like we were going home. We'd come back right back to the same place. Finally, she went by it. She was a little scared. And a couple weeks later, I took her right down <laughs> State Route 13. Uh, it was a divided four lane highway. And I, I drove her off on the berm, and I went from Waterford Road to State Route. What is the best and safe way to pass on the road without spooking the horse? So the best way to pass an Amish horse and buggy without spooking the horse is just to make sure that you give them plenty of room. You don't want to uh, cut in too quickly. They are moving slow, but they're still moving. I've had a motorcycle before uh, pass me on a hill and come in right in front of the, underneath the horse's nose and uh, scared the crap out of my horse. We almost went into the ditch, and this guy did it on purpose. Um, he was a local guy, and uh, we knew who he was, and he was always driving reckless. But he, he, he did it on purpose, and he drove right in under the horse's neck, and the horse spooked back and pretty much stopped and jumped in the ditch, but the buggy didn't follow. There, wasn't, there was a fence there. The horse really couldn't go anywhere. But still, I was a little kid. I was driving home from school. I was probably, I'm guessing, probably 10 or 11 years old. I probably a little more than that because my older sister was driving until I was in sixth grade, so I would have been probably... Eh, probably about, about 11 years old because I was uh, 12 years old when I started my eighth year of schooling and when I was 13 I was done with school but anyway make sure you give the horse plenty of space and do not you know don't cut in too quickly if there's something coming just slow down and also when you see a horse and buggy ahead of you and it's quite a ways ahead you still want to give them plenty of space because they are closer than what they appear uh, and you know they're they're driving slower than what you might think so when you come up on a horse and buggy uh, with a vehicle you get you get to the horse and buggy a lot quicker than you think so especially when it's snowing or raining make sure you slow down in time um, 
until you match their speed. And then again, make sure there's no obstacles. If you have a loud vehicle, uh, try not to rev it up too much as you pass them. I appreciate you, you know, being respectful and, you know, trying not to spook the horses. Because like I said, some people have done it to us on purpose or they have a vehicle that backfires. There was an ex-Amish guy back in the day when I was still a kid and he had a Ford Bronco and he used to ride around and that thing would backfire. I don't know if he did it on purpose or how it did, but whenever he'd pass an Amish buggy, he'd be like, rrr, 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 and it would pop and scare the horses, you know, and he'd be like, yep, know who that was. But anyway, good times. Um, please be safe out there. If you see a horse and buggy, make sure you slow down, give them plenty of room, and uh, I appreciate that. Most of the horses aren't spooked uh, by normal vehicles. If you have something on your vehicle that's, say, flapping, like a flag or something like that, that's going to scare a horse. So if you're, if you're uh, a horse is coming at you head on, just make sure, you know, you don't slow down if you have flags hanging off of your windows or anything like that, like, so the horse doesn't get scared. God bless.